Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, quick update on the Sonics. Um, still waiting on cylinder heads that I ordered, I believe, at the end of June. And we're coming on mid-November. So that's a little frustrating. Um, but I get it. COVID, everything's delayed. Um, it's just, you know, it's frustrating. I, I want to get the plane flying, but, you know, best not to rush things, I guess. Um, so I'm waiting, um, just doing odds and ends, uh, replace the throttle cable because it was binding. Um, use the same routing that it originally had and it runs just fine. So, um, I don't know if it was just old and they need to be replaced every couple of years. Um, but it works fine now. Uh, right now, uh, what I'm doing is replacing, um, my magneto harness with, um, this MSD superconductor automotive spark plug. I don't know if you could see that. Um, spark plug wire. Uh, it's just a little conversion that you need to do with the um, slick mag. It's not difficult. Um, what you're doing basically is you drill these out to 5 16 holes and then you're tapping them to a 3 8. So what you can end up doing is screwing this in and then it gets to a you know, preset height that you need, um, which I'll do and then I'll, I'll, you know, edit the video and show you. But yeah, you're basically screwing this wire in and then um, you're adding um, these little contact points. They're like little coils that slide into this wire that makes the contact points on your, um, your magneto. So we'll fast forward the video, but they're already uh, drilled and tapped. So, all right. So we got the wires screwed in. Uh, so the next step is going to be to install insert rivet on center conductor. So I don't know if you can see this center conductor here, uh, that black piece. There's a small little rivet that needs to go on. It's um, Got a hole going through there so that that center conductor could slide right in. So we'll do that to uh, all four of these. All right, so we got all four rivets in over the center conductor. Uh, next step is gonna be to take a piece of safety wire or a T-pin and you gotta make a little void in between that rivet and the center conductor so that we could then slide the contact point in and that will be our contact point for the magneto so let me do that and i'll get back with you all right so we got all our contact springs or coils in um you can see they're all in uh the final step well second to final step for this minus the spark plug boots is measuring from the inside of the cap to the top of the spring needs to be 1.26 inches. So what's that? Uh, a little over an inch and a quarter. Um, you could see this one is too high. Um, I already adjusted this one and that's just about right. From the inside, it's just about touching right there. So what that does is make sure you have um, good spring tension when you put this back in the um, magneto itself. Uh, the final step is to put these little, there's a little grommet that you put on there. And uh, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe you learned something, learned something new. Um, again, if you like the videos, like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully next video I post, I have my cylinder heads and the engine's running. But we'll see what happens. So thanks.